feels this one much better. Yeah, a little better than this. Yeah. When I cut says the oh, extra. Yeah. Nice, way nicer fish here. Oh, that's a nice fish. Cool. That one wanted to bite on a wacky, and I like that. Yeah. I went to a, a four-inch big bite for a four-inch big, big, big cigar bait, and they like it. You, you, you know, that's one of the neat things. Come here, baby. About smallmouth is the variety of baits that they, they like. Yeah, yeah, you know, from very aggressive, triggerable fish like the X-Rap to more of a finesse bite. Boy, that's a little chunko, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I recently uh, read an industry uh, uh, survey that was talking about the growth and popularity of smallmouth all over the country. And uh, yeah, yeah, you know, having been a hardcore smallmouth fisherman my entire life, <coughs> yeah, you know, I can tell you we're seeing all over this nation of ours in Canada more and bigger smallmouth than we've ever seen before. Yeah, 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 and I remember years ago, I'd fish all season, yeah, you know, and maybe get a five pounder, maybe, that was big. Yeah, yeah, you know, we didn't have the size. And uh, some of the things that are, are causing this explosion in smallmouth fishing, believe it or not, invasives are, are one of them. Zebra mussels, coaga mussels. Uh, you got them, Jer? I got a tiny one. Yeah, the, the mussels, every place that we've been, yeah, you know, it's a negative, it's a problem, yeah. But wherever these mussels have been, and they started in the Great Lakes, and everywhere else I've been, oh, lower yeah, Colorado that's it, that's it, river baby. systems, uh, te Texas, I, all over this country. And there were, if there were smallmouths there, after the Zebes got in there and cleared the water up, whatever the overall impact is, the smallmouth fishing has become phenomenal in those waters. They have been benefited from the challenge we have there. And then we got, uh, you got a little bit, uh, a climate change, which is in the north, the home of the smallmouth area. We got longer warmer warming patterns in spring and fall, you know, where you're opening up that, that growing season by up to six weeks in a lot of cases. Those are all pluses for the smallmouth. They like that, all, all good for them.